nukes. Thank goodness the human race harnessed the power of radiation. It single-handedly, both the natural power source of nature and the single most terrifying word in the entire English language. And why shouldn't it be? We've been taught very well. Monitored closely by scientists at all the radiation detection stations. They report the level of the mysterious radiation continues to increase steadily. The unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. Television has done its best to educate us in whatever way it can. But can we be certain that anything we hear is not abject nonsense? Radiation is a big scary word, but that's no excuse for believing without question whatever science fiction would tell you about it, especially when they drop the science and leave the fiction there Radiation is filled with fear, misinformation, and outright intimidation. And we do not have to prep with that. Radiation can be explained easily. If you want to learn anything right, you learn it yourself. So we are going to learn about radiation ourselves right now. Radiation simply is particles and energy flying off of the nucleus of an atom. A nucleus is protons and neutrons glued together in a specific combination. For most atoms, this combination is in balance, with the protons and neutrons gluing each other together in just the right sequence. But for radiation to occur, this combination has to be imbalanced, such as too many neutrons. This creates what's called an isotope, or to be more specific, an unstable or radio isotope. And isotopes disintegrate. Isotopes throw off pieces of themselves in all directions in a process called radioactive decay in order to regain their balance. Positive particles, negative particles, pure energy. This right here is your radiation. Of which there are almost literally a million kinds. So we're going to stick with the most popular three. The first kind of radiation is also the largest, of four particles expelled from the nucleus at the same time, two protons and two neutrons glued together into one solid mass. This is the most dangerous kind to humans, and it's called alpha. Another kind would be if the whole atom doesn't disintegrate, but rather just one neutron, disintegrating back into a proton-electron pair. The proton stays in the nucleus, while it's the electron that's blasted off into space. This is called beta radiation. For the last kind, the nucleus doesn't need to release a particle at all, but can relieve its excess pressure by emitting an energetic photon of light. This most simple kind is called gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma, radiation. The big, scary word. Particles flying off of a nucleus, and that's all. It's not malicious, it's certainly not evil. The problem is, that's not what we've been told. Television would have us believe radiation is everything from a benevolent evil spirit to a diabolic superpower, and they're not afraid to say so. Indeed, with all the ignorance and illiteracy that they've tried to spread, at this point it may be a wonder that we can even spell TV. Dr. David Banner, physician, scientist, and an accidental overdose of gamma radiation alters his body chemistry. <laughs> Fantastic mutation, probably caused by lingering radiation from the first atomic bomb. Perfectly destroyed by NASA when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Could that radiation be somehow responsible for the wholesale murders we're now suffering? Hey, what's with the glowing? A lifetime of working in a nuclear power plant has given me a healthy green glow. And now that I'm back to normal, I bring you fear, famine, pestilence. This Gaga Khan is going crazy. The needle's at the top. Oh. Radiation is the This is a picture of a man that saw a monster. Radiation is all too frequently only the corny boogeyman of science fiction. This beast isn't only electric, it's intensely radioactive. Radioactive? It's been abused for decades as a mere flimsy scare tactic used for no intellectual justification beyond scaring us half to death. And 
we can't say we're any better, for this abuse continues even today with more advanced shows which have no right not to know better. Mr. Wolf, report. He entered a computer access room and sterilized one of the processors with gamma radiation. The nanites in the upper core are all dead, Captain. It is Hollywood's fault for spreading the propaganda, but it's our fault for believing it, for not demanding better. But now that nonsense is out of the way, now we can learn something. Radiation is not a holy terror, and the truth of the matter is far more reassuring. So if you are scared of radiation, horrified, you need to know the simplest truth of them all. That when it comes to radiation, it is already everywhere! <laughs>